the only place in the U.S. guarded by 30,000 soldiers. This is the best guarded place in the world. No one can come inside the compound. Not even the President of the United States can visit. The compound has its own paramilitary force. It's surrounded by minefields and open spaces. Yet its existence is not secret. In fact, it's one of the most famous places in the world. This place is commonly called Fort Knox. In fact, Fort Knox is the name of the adjacent U.S. Army base. The place everyone means is called the U.S. Bullion Depository. It holds a large portion of America's gold reserves. Let's take a closer look. 1. The Depository has its own police force. It's called the United States Mint Police. The Mint Police was established in 1792. This makes it the oldest federal law enforcement agency. The officers are placed in machine gun towers around the perimeter. Fort Knox itself houses 30,000 Army personnel. It's surrounded by electric fences and cameras. 2. The depository was built to be ultra-secure. The vault was constructed in 1937. More than 4,200 cubic yards of concrete was used. Construction also used 16,000 cubic feet of granite and 750 tons of reinforced steel. The roof of the structure is bomb-proof. The main vault door is 21 inches thick. It weighs more than 22 tons. That's the weight of five 16-wheelers. 3. The depository is off-limits to visitors. There are no tours or visiting hours. Only one president has ever seen the gold with his own eyes. That was Franklin D. Roosevelt. Back in 1943, FDR was concerned with the vault's security. He wanted to make sure it couldn't be invaded. FDR was given a one-off tour of the vault. 4. Nobody knows how much gold is inside. The Treasury held a partial audit of the depository in 1953. It was the first and last. Treasury auditors only tested 5% of the gold for purity. No outside experts were allowed on site. The depository allegedly holds at least 147.3 million ounces of bullion. It's kept in 27-pound gold bars. That's about $290 billion at the current price. 5. The depository is not just for gold. The vault has been used for other secure deposits. During World War II, it housed historical documents, the original copies of the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. The government was worried. The Japanese would bomb DC. England asked for the original Magna Carta to be kept there as well. All these papers were stored at the depository until the war ended. Hungarian crown jewels were also put there after World War II. They were returned to Communist Hungary in 1978. 6. The depository is run by the U.S. Mint. The Army only has authority over Fort Knox. The Mint Police is a separate force, although they cooperate. But the Mint handpicks every U.S. Mint Police officer. They undergo extensive training in weapons handling and room clearing. Fort Knox itself is well known to many service members. Troops from different branches often train at the base, but none of them ever approach the depository. 7. The depository also holds a morphine reserve. In 1955, the government used it to store opium. It was a strategic painkiller reserve. It was all refined into morphine sulfate in 1993. It's still there, although the amount is classified. 8. No one has ever tried to break into the vault. In fact, no one has ever entered it without proper authorization. Since it sits in the middle of a military base, it wouldn't work anyway. Plus, there's no way to get the gold out 